Hello? Hi. How are you? Uh, today is a day for sure. I think I woke up and I realized, damn. I woke up. But uh, not because uh, I wanted to. But, you know, I kind of just... I was having a dream and then I just happened to wake up. But, you know, since I'm awake now, I, I figured I might as well make a video. Uh, another late video. Uh, mainly because I was out uh, practicing at a drive, you know, gotta gotta get them stats up. Uh, eventually, I'll be able to drive on my own. I hope at least get a driver's license, and then uh, hope to not get into a car accident with a drunk driver or a, a, a fast driver. One of those two. Besides that, uh, my days, well, actually, now that I'm awake, it's a new day, but yesterday was a pretty, pretty decent day, honestly. Um, I did eat a burger again yesterday with vegetables, of course, but uh, yeah, today I just, just done a couple of things, taking my dog out for a walk, nothing too... Uh, drastic yet but anyways uh, i hope your day is going well um, you know if you're just waking up too then uh good morning to you as well or if good night if you're about to go to sleep for some reason and uh yeah today i wanted to actually talk about a, a subject that uh that someone someone suggested to me and uh it's not in the comments, obviously, but they, pers personally, uh, they said send me through Discord, and uh, it was about uh, conspiracy theories, but not just uh, conspiracy theories, in general, just like uh, nine eleven. You know, and what's a very common conspiracy theory is uh, nine eleven, but you know, I thought I thought about making the video. But I think it's better to uh, to not make a serious video. So, yeah, this isn't going to be a serious video. I contemplated it, but then I was like, nah, I can't make a serious video. Yeah. Uh, sorry for rambling for so long, but I just felt like getting that out of the way first. You know, before I get into uh, what I actually wanted to do for this video. So, uh yeah, I'm just gonna be uh gonna be doing conspiracy theories, but instead of like debunking them straight up, because that would be a little bit too much work, <laughs> and I'm not <laughs> I'm not someone who who could probably do that sort of video. I thought I would just like debunk the video, but instead I'll do uh my own theory on what actually happened instead of uh letting these darn conspiracy theorists tell me what i should think you know i'm not a sheep you know i'm a greater individual i have my own level of thinking and to think that these people would try to assume that i should believe in a conspiracy theory that they made up like come on that's a big conspiracy theory in itself like how are you going to follow what someone else is? At that point, you're a sheep. You should make your own conspiracy theories about what other people think is a conspiracy theory. Okay, anyways. Uh, I must start off with 9-11, you know. Very co popular uh, thing about 9-11 is that it was an inside job, you know. It was actually like uh, the current president, I think it was Bush, who did 9-11. And I just want to say, I think there is some validity to this. And that is that in my conspiracy theory, I think that the U.S. government is the one who did 9-11. But instead of it being like a, a boring inside job with like using explosives, I think they just, you know, they got a laser and they pointed it at the Twin Towers and then just and then. The Twin Towers, you know, they started to, like, collapse because, 
you know, that space laser is really powerful, you know? And I think that uh, the reason why it looks like there are two planes crashing into the Twin Towers isn't because two planes actually crashed into the towers, but it's an illusion that the government has has done using uh, UFOs from outer space to trick the masses into believing that it was two airplanes, when in reality, they're just hiding their giant laser that they, they have in space. And I honestly, honestly, I believe this theory, you know? Like, if you really think about it, why would the U.S. government use something so bland like a plane to do, like, mass genocide? That's That sounds so, like, you know, non-American, you know? Like, we have, like, everything here. Like, we have, like, bigger, like, bigger serving sizes, bigger this, you know? Like, it doesn't make sense for the U.S. government to want to, you know, kill people using something like a plane like why don't you just use like a laser we obviously have a laser too you know like the the u.s government is probably so advanced like that they probably do own a laser not just a laser a giant space laser and they just targeted at the twin towers at the right angle you know they had the perfect trajectory and boom hit the twin towers you know like I feel like that's the most reasonable thing. And the fact that they have UFOs that emit illusions makes sense. Like, think about it. In The Matrix, um, actually, I don't know much about The Matrix, but I just know about the red... That's... Okay. Well, you know how one of the popular movies, you know, the one of the memes is The Matrix, right? Because of... I think they're, they're in an illusion, right? And they have to sort of break out of it. So I think it's kind of like that. You know, we're we're trapped in this illusion and we think that it's, it's this. But in reality, it doesn't make sense for, 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 uh, for us to uh, not be trapped in an illusion if uh, something so boring like that could happen, you know? Like, we have to have it bigger, you know? You know, it, can, it can't be like uh, something so... <laughs> it's something so so yeah <laughs> uh, <clears throat> let me compose myself but uh yeah you know genocide my favorite pastime am I right guys okay I think that's just one of them uh, I'll think of another one real quick Okay, okay, I just thought of the other theory, another theory I can uh, talk about. And that would be, uh, you know, having the the U.S. officials as uh, our lizard overlords, you know, that's another popular one. I'm not too uh, familiar with it, but just the concept of lizard overlords, I think that, uh, honestly, I personally think that this one is kind of boring too. Like, why would the U.S. government be lizards, you know? Think about it, like, lizards kind of kind of suck. Not, not all of them do, but I feel like if you, if you look at some lizards, like, a bunch of them are cold-blooded, you know? They need heat to stay warm. Like, it would be so simple for us to dis- defeat them, you know? Like, just invent some sort of, like, cold ray or something. Right? Pretty sure. I don't think they'd leave such a weakness as being like weak to the cold because you know they're lizards and they're cold blooded. But like, I, why would you uh, leave such a weakness as that? You know, I feel like I feel like they're probably something else that like uh, a lot of us, you know, a lot of us want to assume that they're lizards, right? But I think they might be something else, something more like. Uh, I guess grandiose. They might honestly be honey badgers. I I think that that the U.S. government is actually just a bunch of honey badgers, and not just like any kind of honey badger, but like honey badgers, like you know, 
these if, when you think about it, honey badgers are pretty cool creatures. Like, you know, they they go into beehives and they like, they steal their bees, like the all the honey and stuff, and like they come out unscathed. Like, isn't that kind of like the American spirit there? Like, you know, getting into fights, with, you know, dangerous things like you know, invading territory. Like, I feel like. That's the American spirit. The you know the eagle is our our country. You know, like in the country flag, not in not in the country flag, but it's our the country animal, right? It's the eagle. But I think it should be the honey badger. You know how relentless these creatures are. They can even take on lions. That's insane. Like I honestly feel like if there's any creature that the U.S. government could potentially be, it wouldn't be lizards. It would be honey badgers. Just for the fact that they're like way cooler. Well, not all of them are cooler than all reptiles. You know, like chameleons are cool too, you know. There's also uh, geckos. I think geckos are pretty cool too. But uh, yeah, I honestly feel like they would be honey badgers as opposed to like lizards. You know, especially with all the all the things that lizards have. Like, aren't necessarily like always going to be helpful like yeah sure you can regenerate a tail but oh we have prosthetics you know what why would you ever need to regenerate a an arm when you can have a a stronger arm like you see and, and why would you want to stay youthful like uh you know the ability to shed your skin when you can just have awesome like thick fur you know like uh i think that's cooler huh wouldn't it like personally i find that a little bit cooler than uh being able to shed skin, but I know some people would like the ability to shed skin. Well, not not like we don't have the ability to shed skin, but you know, like a, a full shed, shedding once a once every a couple of months. I think I think it's much more useful to have like the ability to consistently shed. Although I'm not sure if honey badgers do shed like that. Like they they shed their skin. I'm pretty sure they don't. But anyways, I. I just think that would be like a lot more reasonable in my opinion and like just like lizard one you you could say it doesn't really make sense but I think I think if you think hard enough and you put enough effort into it I think it could you can make honey badgers work and it's just cooler too like you know honey badgers right awesome all right then that was the second one now I'm, I'm gonna go on to another one because yeah. yeah. This one, this one's a little bit more like, a, I guess, I don't know. Is it even a conspiracy theory? Or do you, do you genuinely believe that giants are like something that have existed before? Because I feel like, I feel like there's a big chance that, that giants have at one point existed. That's like, probably one of the more believable conspiracy theories you know but you know this whole entire video is about changing common conspiracy theories with my own take and you know i think that giants do exist but not in how we you know you we would think it normally like you know giants are supposed to be bigger humans right but i think that uh i think personally that it wasn't that giants never existed, but that we as humans were actually really small. We were actually the size of ants beforehand. And like, if you if you know a bunch of like conspiracy theories, it, it still makes sense with it because, like, why would we need to be bigger if uh, aliens built the pyramids or aliens did this? You know, it it makes sense, right? And by the way, aliens are pretty cool. Like when you think about it too. So, I I don't think I'll be discussing aliens, but maybe I'll I'll do it later. But I do think that it's not that giants were bigger than us, but that we were just so much smaller than the giants. And like the giants were actually like the size of babies, but since we were like the size of ants, they seemed like colossal. You know, I I think this one makes a lot of sense when you think about it just like perspective like over the years 
we had learned to like adapt, evolve, and like we grew in size gradually. It makes more sense when you think about it that way than uh, saying that oh we we used to be like small but like you know they existed but like suddenly they disappeared like okay you know it, it makes more sense that way and like since we were so small like our you know our our bones would be very difficult to find and they might even like uh you know might have just been gone at that point because they're so like tiny they might have like just for the most part i feel like they could have been like uh what's it called decomposed so yeah basically i think that's the current giant isn't a wrong theory but that uh we were just smaller back in the day like way smaller and uh maybe this one isn't as as big of a like uh take as the other ones but i feel like from that perspective you could say that giants did exist while also keeping in line the fact that uh we still have yet to really find like any big evidence on giants existing but I think that's what it was. So you could just chalk it up to us being really small back in the day. Okay, final one. Uh, this has been going on for a while. And uh, yeah, I did want to make this video extra long because I was, I was thinking of ideas to make the video longer. But yeah, this is the final one that I'm going to be saying. And uh, I think I think it's like, uh, it has to, it has to be either hollow earth or flat earth and i'm pretty sure i'll do like a hollow hollow earth yeah, yeah 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 i'm not too familiar with that one i just know that it's like uh that there's a hole in between the earth and i think it comes from like uh the fact that they said uh some people have said if you dig straight from china you'll end up on the other side of the world you know and I, I think it's supposed to be america that you end up in but i'm not sure not really sure about that but uh i do think that there is a possibility for hollow earth you know like just this underground society that that's hidden away from us uh, i think it might be a little bit more different you know what if the hollow earth was just like a portal to another dimension but we call it the hollow earth because it looks identical to our Earth, except it's just hollowed out. And I think that's a, that, that that's probably already a theory in itself. But I just I just think that's that might be what it is, honestly. Is that instead of it being like a hollow Earth, it's just a giant, like a different dimension that's identical to ours, but it's just hollowed out, and. Uh, the thing is, it's trying to merge with our current uh, Earth. And it makes us think that there's this hollow Earth or that this hollow Earth has existed. But in reality, it's never existed. It's just it's in another reality that is trying to merge with our reality. So we see glimpses of what could be a hollow Earth. And, you know, like this underground society in reality is uh, trying to stop this uh, phenomenon from happening and uh, making the Earth basically collapse on itself, you know, either from uh, some sort of like, you know, the fact that the, that you would have like two planets colliding with one another or the fact that uh, it's literally just like hollowed out and like, I don't know if an atmosphere could feel it work at that point. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's that's the most like reasonable way I can say it. It's not as crazy as the first or second one, but uh, yeah, I think that's uh that's the theory I'm gonna say is the true one that is trying to merge with us. And the the secret society underground is actually just attempting to uh, stop this from happening because it'll like uh. It'll be the end of the world at that point but uh yeah if you guys uh agree with any of these theories you know conspiracy theories then uh, feel free to to uh, just you know tell me about it like and if you think you have any like 
other conspiracy theories that like actually just fit that you personally think fit better than the ones that currently have i would suggest like uh just just mentioning them like it doesn't have to be like super serious like this video isn't super serious you know <laughs> i'm not really a, a conspiracy theorist believer but yeah if you do think that uh the current conspiracy theories are kind of like some of them are kind of lame and like you could come up with like a better better conspiracy theory based on your beliefs instead of you know, being a uh cringe you know like beta male like yeah uh, anyways uh, goodbye